Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. As you, hear, as you saw, the title is Sons of Adultery. One of the signs of the hour that I will talk, inshallah, today. Sons of Adultery. The latest statistics reveal that half percent, half percent of the live births newly born in America and Europe are um, as sons of adultery. So who told Muhammad sallallahu sallam that the sons of adultery will spread right before the end of time? Subhanallah. This is, please share this video. Share this video inshallah and let the world know this fact in Islam. This is the devilish evil outcome of atheism, atheism in the West. And uh, these are the outcomes and the results of the atheists' attitudes and ideas and notions in the world. This is, this is what they gained from uh, atheism. A study in America reveals that 40% of the births are from adultery. Look, 40% of the births are from adultery. And subhanAllah, Prophet Muhammad says that by the end of the hour, right before the end of the hour, Sons of adultery will spread. This is narrated in Al Hakim. So in 12 or in 2011, in 2011, 39% of the births in the European Union were non marital births, and in the US, they were 41%. This is in puresearch.org. Go to puresearch.org, type non marital births, and you will see the 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 uh, statistics i will post for you inshallah on this live video uh, in the comments the uh, the links and you will make sure yourselves okay in later in the in, during the during the, la, the latest periods of time for example in 20 in 2015 2016 american bio center american bio center reveals that half percent half percent of live births Five percent of live births uh, occur in non-marital relationships. This is uh, bizarre and strange, subhanAllah. Maybe this, this uh, title today will shock some people. They will, sh they will be shocked, but this is the reality. Go to ec.europa.eu. This is a European Union website and reveals this, subhanAllah. In USA, non-marital births are increasingly like likely to reach half percent but we know that they are more than half percent and they just uh, they just lie to us you know they are, they are not revealing the exact horrible uh, statistics subhanallah 50 per 58 percent 50 58 percent of non-marital births are outside marriage in 2010 Go to cdc.gov. I'm not giving you, I'm not saying uh, nonsense or hearsay. Go to cdc.gov. This, this website, which is purely, pure scientific. And you will see that 58%, 58% in America. Subhanallah. And now, the, and now I give you, inshallah, the scientific miracle, the scientific miracle in Islam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam says in, 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 in Al-Hakim, narrated in Al-Hakim, sorry, narrated in Al-Hakim, that sons of adultery will spread. As I told you, the result of atheism, this is the result of atheism. This is the result of evolution. This is the result of uh, being far from the, from the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <sighs> Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa says, narrated by Anas, that among, among the Portents or the signs of the hour is uh, is the following: religious knowledge will be taken away. Okay, people will not seek religion, religious knowledge. They will, they will just follow the dunya, just follow the worldly life, and the religious uh, knowledge will be considered as something despised, as something not important in, in today. This is from the signs of the hour. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu says also that that uh, illegal. Illegal sexual intercourse will prevail, right? And also drinking alcoholic drinks will prevail, right? And mean, <coughs> mean will incre will decrease. Mean will decrease in number, and women will increase in number. 
so much to the extent that one one man one man the average of uh, population will be one man equal 50 women prophet muhammad says says that 50 women will be looked after one man so each 50 women they will have one man imagine this is in sahih al-bukhari subhanallah another another subhanallah another another sign of the hour is that zina adultery will increase and uh, until two people will have public sex and and the best among muslims will just will just go to them and say okay please please remove her from the middle of the street just bring her to the to the side or to the sideway so, but he, he he doesn't i mean he doesn't uh, negate what's wrong He's just, he's just paving the way for himself to pass. Subhanallah. This man is the best among, among Muslims at that time. You see? And yesterday, Brother Lee Woods, Brother Lee Woods, he's our brother in one of the, you know, in one of the messengers group, he told me public sex is already done in America. And people go and, and look and watch at, at the people doing public sex. Subhanallah. I told him this is new to me. I'm not living in America, but but this is this is good to know. It's bad, but good to know because because it's one of the signs of the yawd and the believers they they uh, they get some more iman, subhanallah. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that people will uh, will cut, will uh, have uh, have public sex in the street like donkeys. May Allah forbid us like donkeys, in, like animals in the streets. And we have seen some videos, you know, passing from time to time on, on social media. You know, on Facebook, from time to time, someone, you know, having a camera and, and, and making the zoom sometimes, you know, he, he says, look, I'm in, in the middle of the street. But in America, he said, the brothers told me something, I mean, very, very, very dangerous. I mean, they have it, they have it as, uh, as something, you know, they show off with it. And you can see now the signs of the hour. Prophet Muhammad said, from among the signs of the hour is that there will be prevalence of open, illegal sexual intercourse. Imagine, I mean, I mean I'm not talking ab about something which happens in Mars or Pluto or U Uranus. I'm talking about something which happens now. And, and Prophet Muhammad pre uh, preceded it, them. And Allah told him, of course, and he prophesied these things that will happen. This is narrated in Bukhari and Muslim. Subhanallah. Also, Abdullah ibn Amr, the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr, he says that the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he uh, told us that the hour will not be established until people will fornicate with each other in the road, subhanallah, like donkeys. Like donkeys fornicate. Exactly. People are now, are now uh, doing exactly what animals do. May Allah forbid us from all these things. This, this is narrated in Sahih, in Sahih Ibn Hibban and Musnad al-Bazzar. Go and, 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 and look inshallah. If you want the exact number of the hadith, I will, I will provide you for it. I'm not talking hearsay, I'm not talking nonsense. So brothers and sisters, the last hour has come. We are just waiting now as one of the, one of the brothers told us. We are just waiting now for the Mahdi to come out. The Sunni Mahdi is called Muhammad ibn Abdullah. You see? Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says that the last hour will not be established until the wicked people, you know the wicked people, those people who are, who are I mean, they have no value at all in, in, uh, in religion. Sorry, someone is calling. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says that, that they will commit adultery on the roads public ways and he specifies where you know maybe they like that they like to do that this is narrated in Sahih Ibn Habban and, and Al-Bazar brothers and sisters we have to do something if you see someone doing that it doesn't mean that it is a sign of the, the hour and I will leave them no you have to say something you have to uh, you ha like I did uh, uh, I mean um, I think uh, last week I saw two people in the street and, and, and I sent the girl home. I told her, you know, you go home or I will tell your family. And the man, you know, he had, he, he had a hat on his, uh, on his face and he, he escaped from me and he went away because he knows that I will give him a hard time with my... Not, not beat him because we, are, we, we don't beat in Islam. Only the, the authority does that. I will speak. I have my mouth. Prophet Muhammad says, if you can do that with your hands, if he's your son, if he's your 
you can push him, you can, you can uh, you know, stop him from doing that with your hands, okay? But not, don't beat, don't beat. I mean, you, 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 uh, you avoid what is wrong with peaceful ways. I mean, we are not here to slap or beat, no. But at least you have your mouth. I mean, speak, don't, don't let them in. The, don't tell me, well, it's the sign of the hour. I will, I mean, I have nothing. No, you, ha you, ha you have reward if you, if you stop them. You have reward. So we shouldn't let this prevail because otherwise, otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send tsunamis on us. I will, inshallah, inshallah, I will post for you on this blessed page, inshallah. One of the most dangerous sign of the hour just appeared uh, last week, I think. The most dangerous that I even saw, I saw a man, if we don't avoid what is wrong, I saw a man that resembles a wolf. Wallahi, they tried to shave his face all the time, but, but the hair grows again. They have a name, such name, they call it something. I will post for you the video. I will post for you the... I, I, was, I was goosebumps, subhanAllah, I was goosebumps. A man resembling a wolf, he has hair on all over his face. And the, the scene is bizarre. The scene is strange. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbid us from that. I, we don't know why, but... But we have the we ha, we know we know why from the from the hadith we don't know why for that family why Allah subhanahu wa taala punished them but we know why from the hadith Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says three will bring three he says music instruments musical instruments prostitution and wine will bring three stoning from the sky and deformation of faces like animals people will resemble animals Allah subhanahu wa taala will will send his wrath on them because they they invent the signs of the hour they invent something very bad and and also sinkholes so remember these three i will cut the video i will end up the video let's make it short but because people love to see short videos subhanallah they don't have patience in religion they may watch you know a, a match of 93 minutes but in, if if the video if the religious video is one hour the, no one will, will will see okay let's make videos short this is my my new tendency I can't, by the way. I can't do that because I love, I love bringing proofs and so on. And then the, the hour, the time slips from under our feet. Anyway, as they say in Arabic, look, three bring, bring three. Three things bring three. Uh, musical instruments, of course, in Sahih al-Bukhari, they are haram. You can listen to Nasheed without, without instrument, musical instruments. So, musical instruments, wine, musical instruments, wine. And prostitution, they bring sinkholes. We have seen them. Alhamdulillah, we, we, uh, everything is clear now. I mean, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has made everything clear. This is right and this is wrong. Right. I repeat, sinkholes, stoning from the sky, maybe maybe lightning, big lightning. Uh, sorry, sorry, big hails or whatever. I mean, stoning from. We Muslims believe that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or Prophet Muhammad says something that it will happen, it will happen. Don't tell me why. Don't try to indulge in these questions I don't understand. Okay, you may understand the wisdom and you may not. Just believe and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you through, I mean out. Will give you a way out and will tell you the wisdom. But if you reject, you will not see the wisdom because that will be a punishment from Allah. Don't question Allah. Don't judge Allah. If Allah judges, there is no judge after him. So. Three will bring three. Um, wine, prostitution and musical instruments will bring right before the end of the hour. Of course, we are just waiting for the Mahdi, as I said, because all these, these minor hours have appeared. We three will bring three. They will bring, these three will bring sinkholes, deformation of faces and, and subhanallah, uh, sorry, uh, sinkholes, deformation of faces and stoning from the sky. So let's be careful because all, because as Imam Shafi'i says, Imam Shafi'i says, he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish people according, according to what they bring to the tribulations. If they, if they bring very serious and dangerous tribulations, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring more. To them, I mean, for them, it's, it's their benefit because they will come back to religion. Alhamdulillah, salatu salam ala rasulullah. My topic is finished. Let me see if there are any questions, and, and I end inshallah the, the video. Wa alaikum salam, rahmatullah, everyone. 
He says, my mother is ill. Please pray for her health. Mujib Qadri, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant your mother shifa, to grant your mother healing, to change her health with another good health, better health, to change her blood with another better uh, blood, and to, to grant her, inshallah, peace of mind, peace of the heart, and steadfastness on this religion, inshallah, Ya Rab. Uh, Beatrice says hi from California. Welcome, everyone. Analia from Argentina says hola, hola. Thank you. Gracias. Alhamdulillah, uh, salatu salam ala rasulullah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I will post for you, inshallah, the links to go and make sure yourselves that what I'm, what I'm saying is not from me, from the websites, from their websites, and also the hadith. I will post, your, post for you, inshallah, on this live video, the whole topic, and, and you will, inshallah, uh, post it to everyone. Uh, I love you for the sake of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.